In this work, we develop an attention-based framework for 3D human pose reconstruction and videos. Similar to recent works, it is based on the temporal convolutional neural network, but can leverage existing works with better accuracy and temporal coherence. Here is our first contribution, attentional mechanism. The attention model has two parts. The temporal attention module and the kernel attention module. The former aims to assign a weight distribution among different tensors, while the later focuses on the weight distribution across channels within the same tensor. Similar to other neural network, tensors output from one layer will be forwarded as the input for the following layer. However, we assign different weights for these tensors. This is based on the observation that the pose estimation can be enhanced by the combination of multiple input frames. We place an attention unit within each layer. Starting from layer 0, a weight distribution vector W1 is passed to the first layer. Tensors will be multiplied by the associated weight scalar in element wise. The kernel lines a channel weight distribution within a tensor through different kernel sizes. Then the question is how can we learn these weight vectors? To achieve train a set of parameters by using mini batch gradient descent in the same manner as the TCN unit training, denoted as the theta units for each layer. So the output weight will turn on the tensors by assigning different contributions. The dilation structure. As multi are fed into the TCN architecture, the larger temporal receptive field will result in an increasing number of layers. This introduces extra training parameters and may cause the vanishing gradients problem. To resolve this issue, we introduce the multi-scale dilated convolution structure. Sure. Starting from the attentional model, which can be considered as a 2D structure. We put dilated the convolution units along the z-axis in the space. We term them as levels. So the regular convolution units are at level 0 and the dilation units are at level 1, 2, and so forth. A higher index represents a bigger receptive field among the input tensors. Here is a 2D view. Along the y-axis, it represents different layers. Along the z-axis, it represents the dilation levels. This diagram shows an example of five layers and three levels architecture. The data flow configuration follows this principle. For the layer 0, all the units have the input from the frames. For units from layer 1 and so forth, there are two cases. Case 1, if the unit is not from the zeroth level, the input tensor is just a direct output from the zeroth unit from its previous layer. However, if the unit is at the zeroth level, the input is a combination of output tensors from its previous layers that are distributed in a staircase pattern. Here are some results. We compare our approach with the state-of-the-art techniques on the human 3.6M dataset. The subjects S1, S5, S6, S7, and S8 from the human 3.6M dataset are used for training, and S9 and S11 are applied for testing. To visually the significance of the improvement, animation retargeting is applied to a 3D avatar by synthesizing the captured motion from the same frame of the walking S9 and posing S9 sequences. From the side-by-side -side comparisons, one can easily see the differences of the rendered results against the ground truth. Specifically, the legs and the right hand are rendered differently due to the erroneous pose estimated, while ours stay more aligned with the ground truth. We also the joint-wise mean per joint position error for a selected frame from the walkdog S11 data. The top row shows the input 2D color image and its corresponding estimated 3D poses by other methods. The histograms in the second row show the quantified measurement on each joint. In the frame-wise comparison, the top row presents the estimated 3D pose results from the same frame produced by different methods. In the second row of each scene, we trace these average joint errors across all of the frames in the corresponding video sequence. We also further evaluate our approach on a number of wide videos. To facilitate performance for potential interactive applications, we also investigate a causal attention-based network that estimates the target pose by only processing the current frame and its previous frames. The architecture is similar to the one described previously, but here we only consider the left half of the input video sequence. It is worth mentioning even without the input of frames in the future, the temporal coherence is not compromised in the casual setting.